Hi guys, this is Alex from AR Design, and I want to quickly walk you through the uh, Rex Delta, the new striker fired pistol from A Rex Arms out of Slovenia. It's imported by uh, Fime Group, Kvar Corp, that whole conglomerate. Super cool people over there. Anyway, ooh, little fancy slide drop. Um, so this comes with two magazines, a 15 rounder and an extended 17 rounder. Uh, these are Mechgar magazines. Um, they look very similar to the P10C, P07 mag bodies that you get on the CZs. Uh, it's got these really cool cocking serrations, very gill-like. It's got a lot of facets to the design. It's very prismatic. Um, it comes with four back straps. I have the largest back strap on it right now that actually has a little bit of enhancement here. Um, it's got the front gripping. Uh, it's got this like factory stipple here and here, and it creates a little gas pedal effect when you're shooting. Um, it's got a single position 1913 uh, style rail. Uh, it fits just like Glock, so it fits all the Glock specific pistols. Um, what else is it? It's fully ambidextrous uh, magazine release. They look very flush to the design, but you can see it actually has one, two, three, four faces to it. So some people from the photos were complaining that they have that it's not. It doesn't look easy to press, but it's really easy to press um, and it's really easy to press both ways uh, I have no problems with it uh, another feature to note they actually have CNC cut steel ambidextrous slide stops uh, again these look like they are uh, tight to the body but they are actually pretty grippy and sharp they have a nice little uh, detailed ledge right there that hooks right in to your finger no problem um, since we received it, I have had no stiffness with the magazine release or the slide stop. Everything has been functioning great. Um, the gun itself comes with a um, striker indicator back here, um, blacked out rear serrated sights, and a white dot single front sight. Uh, they're pressed in dovetail, and it's got a chamber indicator on the top of the slide. Um, these take down just pretty similar to Glock. You uh, press your trigger to the rear, and then you want to pull down on the takedowns at the same time, and it you push a little bit forward, just about a millimeter or two forward, and it breaks apart like that. So it doesn't slide off the front of the gun like a Glock. It actually takes down more like a Johnnyk TP9SF. Um, so you can see the internals, trigger bar, ambidextrous slide stop, the rail system, the front, uh, the front frame insert, the rear fire control group frame insert. Um, so you get to see everything internally. Uh, it's it's a pretty neat little gun. Um, I believe the price point on them is about four hundred thirty dollars U.S. Put it back together. You just sit it together and give it a little rack. It's ready to go. So we are um, we are shooting this today with MPA 90 grain frangible ammo. Um, so we're just breaking out some frange, testing out our new uh, TA target downrange, and we're having a lot of fun with it. Got some frangible tangibles. <laughs> Actually gonna break it in using um, National Police Ammo's frangible rounds. They got a smiley face on them. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break it in. Uh, these are 90 grain frange, and we're gonna be shooting at a TA targets um, target with a hostage flag. And we'll be running out of our AR design CNC cut vacuum form machined holster. So hope you guys enjoy. You did clear it. <laughs> Try to shoot that hostage flag. That trigger is smooth as butter. Uh, they have the uh, CNC machine steel ambidextrous slide stops. They're really simple, but they got a nice sharp ledge here so you can really get on it. Trigger looks like a 
a Neo mech shark fin. Cool, get some more rounds through it. Two misses. Most of that was muscle memory, not really tracking the sights. Uh, a little, little under 20 yards. Good shooter. Gonna put more round through it. A little get grippy on the bottom of the slide. It does kind of sting the shins a little bit when you get closer. It's like finger blasting a fucking transformer. So one thing to note, um, we actually created the very first CNC cut vacuum formed appendix holster for the uh, Rex Delta. We actually developed this product about six months ago for Rex. Uh, for their very first pre-production factory guns that went out to testers. So uh, we made these holsters a long time ago. They're the only CNC cut vacuum formed holster on the market as of right now. Um, so definitely check these out. Hopefully these will be up on KVAR Corp's website very shortly. You can also get them on our website that's in the description. Um, thanks again. Hey guys, so we put 10 boxes of Alchemist frangible ammo through this today. It's the last two mags. Uh, we're going to save some of that ammo for uh, another time. But um, yeah, 500 rounds. We haven't had a single malfunction in this gun um, all day. And it's running pretty really good. My hands are a little bit beat up. One thing to note, I did uh, I did round and polish this <laughs> the the whole back of the beaver tail because it was a little it was a little harsh during dry fire the last few days. But um, yeah, no, so far gun runs great. Does what it wants to do, no malfunctions. Very consistent, very consistent brass ejection. Everything's working good. Um, it's not a bad little package. Um, I don't necessarily feel that I like the sights all that much. Um, I would like to have this in an optic ready platform, but so far it's a pretty neat gun. It's a pretty neat gun. It, it's pretty grippy. The geometry is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good on the palm, and especially with those hard facets, it it does not move in your hand. There's no slippage. Um, slippage is that a word? Slippage is a word. Cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Guys, click like, subscribe, check us out, leave a comment. We love to hear feedback.